Hi, my name is Victoria landis Steinau, and I am here to tell you more about the future of U.S. foreign relations and international trade, specifically from the perspective of three commercial trade specialists whose identities will remain confidential. Foreign Commercial Services, or FCS, is a department within the International Trade Administration and the U.S. Department of Commerce. FCS is responsible for connecting people around the world to U.S. suppliers and for assisting American companies with integrating into the international market. The FCS has an enormous impact on primary and secondary effects socially, economically, and politically. FCS has been an increasing demand as more and more American companies have been looking to expand their operations overseas. Within the office, commercial trade specialists are seeing more emphasis on technology and cultural integration. Most interactions and relationship building are done over phone, Skype, or email, particularly amongst FCS posts throughout the world. When FCS is successful, it connects U.S. companies with local partners and facilitates deep and meaningful relationships that are rooted in trust and mutual respect. In the worst case scenario, FCS would be discontinued because of inadequate funding. Without FCS, it is possible that relationships, especially those based on private business transactions, between the U.S. and other countries would go sour. American companies wanting to enter a new market would not have the on-the-ground information they have now, nor counseling to entrance strategies. The global economy would be drastically affected without the successful facilitation of business relationships between Americans and other nationalities around the world. Government jobs are notorious for offering workers stability and security. However, in light of the recent government shutdown, government workers have been particularly agitated. People are not as focused on their jobs when there is no clear leadership, direction, or consistency. FCS is a client-oriented organization, whereas private firms tend to be more focused on improving operations or increasing profits. Job security, coupled with a lack of incentive, often makes it difficult to motivate workers to adopt and leverage new technologies in a timely manner. Moreover, old and inflexible human resource practices can lead to long hiring processes. Sometimes it can take up to three years for someone interested in the Foreign Service to apply, get accepted, and begin the intended job. Additionally, the government needs to be more transparent and adaptable. Funding is extremely difficult to move around and requires a lot of approvals, making innovative processes hard to implement. The government must be less bureaucratic and decrease the unhealthy competition amongst government agencies. Based on these factors, I predict that FCS will continue growing in a linear fashion over time if not stagnate completely. The environment for exponential growth is not present. If the industry of international trade is to grow exponentially, it must be disrupted by a third party that covers the same operations as FCS, but as a private company with less restrictions. This is actually already happening by companies like Channels Business Solutions, to which the FCS is outsourcing some of its operations. Moving forward, the commercial trade specialists place their hope in the future generation. They want to record the lessons that they have learned from the past and create templates to be built upon for those that follow them. If all constraints were removed, they would heavily invest in youth and immerse students in international business and cultural exposure at an early age. It is a probable future that the FCS will continue functioning the way it currently is.